Hello, it's Kate here. Um, so, yesterday, I, as you saw in the previous video, went to church with Rima and his brother Haiti and his niece Emily and Marco, the Italian, and McEvely, my brother's friend from back home. And we went to go meet up with the African. Well, it didn't go as well as anticipated, <laughs> to say the least. Um, essentially, it didn't go well at all. So I went to church because I met this dude in Africa like three years ago at a coffee shop. It was actually a bookstore. And it was really hot and he was writing down his goals in a moleskin journal, which I also always have on me. And his goals were to like help children and like start his own foundation and such. So I found that incredibly, incredibly sexy. However, um, I tried meeting up with him like on Saturday and get a drink and he was like preoccupied with family stuff, whatever. So I went to church with him on Sunday, <coughs> yesterday, Easter, and it was this evangelist type church, which was kind of interesting. And um, he, we sat next to each other and I don't take communion because I'm not baptized and I don't necessarily, it's just not my jam, you know, it's religion, it's personal, whatever, so I didn't take communion, but I felt like there was, like, weird overtones as a result of that, and, uh, you know, we made small talk, but there's no intellectual conversation, because I got lost on the way with, like, everyone, I ended up showing up, like, five minutes late or something, so there wasn't any, like, introductions and whatever beforehand, and in addition to that, um, when we were leaving, we were around for like maybe 10 minutes and he had to go back to San Francisco with his family. That's where his sister and his mom lives. So there was no real like talk, like we didn't really talk to each other, like a little bit, like small talk, but nothing like of any substance or depth. So my analogy with it is it's kind of like going to the strip club and you don't get to take home the strippers. It's like I went to this place. I know a church is in a strip club. I went to this place and he like was there, this person that I've thought a lot about in three years. You know, we corresponded semi-regularly, you know, once every few months or whatever. He lives in a different continent. But it was like one of those moments when you meet someone, you're like, oh my gosh, like there's a spark. So, this is the second time, third time, that I've encountered him, and um, haven't had the opportunity to actually get to know him at all. So, it's a little bit disheartening and sad, <laughs> simply because, I don't know, he seemed cool, but I don't know, he's kind of religious, and I don't know if that's my thing, and... I tend to feel like religious people, some religious people are very accepting of other people's religions, but others are pretty set in their own ways. And I don't know, because of cultural differences or whatever, I guess I'm a little bit scared that he's set in his own ways and not as open-minded as me. So, I was a little bit sad, because you, you know, not every day I think about him or anything, but you know, he comes up in like my list of people that I met that I was captivated by, and the fact that I went to church on Easter, which is something that I prided myself on never having done, and I didn't even get to talk to him, was a little bit shitty. So, I guess I'm a little bit bummed today, plus I've collected this cough, <laughs> but I can't laugh, because when I cough, laughing's my favorite thing. Uh, my eyes are like all fucked up, and my sinuses hurt, I'm a hot mess. And this is when it sucks being single. Like, I've been working from home all day since, like, 9. It's now 7.30 at night. So I got, you know, a good work day in. But I'm just, like, ugh. <coughs> in hell. I'm just in hell right now. Uh, dealing with rejection and loneliness. Eh, I like being alone, but I don't know. I wish I could beckon someone to get soup for me or something. But unfortunately, those aren't my cards. So, that said, that was the summary of what happened yesterday. A little bit bummed about it, but hey, that's life. At least I know that fantasies are usually better than reality. And, 
you can't can't judge a book by its cover even if it is a moleskin journal <laughs> and with that said I, I bid you adieu